Development of projects like uh, Sports Complex at Boteman, where I am right now, does a lot to impact the lives of those who live around it, either positively or negatively. Even before they are completed, the process, the beginning, from beginning to start, does a lot to change the lives of people for good and bad. So we've come to Boteman. Um, let me tell you where, this is in Tema West. So somewhere this side is called Global. If you go towards this side, you're going towards Santor. Um, behind me, all these areas are Ajekojo, Kanawu, and places like that. This entire area was completely bush, but because of the, the construction of the sports complex for the 13th African Games, it's a sports complex. People erroneously say stadium, but I understand it's going to have a tennis court, it's going to have a swimming pool, it's going to have a whole lot of facilities for sporting activities. Okay, so that's how it's it's coming up, and uh, we just want to have a conversation with the people who are uh, you know patching around it and and making a livelihood out of it. How how do they see it? How's it going? My name is Caleb Kuda. This is about town. Thank you for joining us. Hey. <laughs> you told me your name is Fatal. My name is Ephraim Fatal. Ephraim, who do you know? Saibu Fatal. Saibu Fatal, okay. What do you do? Who are you doing? I'm a Okada rider. You're a Okada rider? Do you feel here now? I feel Akra. Akra, Eva? Akra, Nima. Okay. And what did you bring? What did you bring? I'm a Duroba. Is this your first time coming here? Yeah. Okay. Oba no you have been here so far? So, I'm going to say that you have been here because first, no. Me bahan ma ke two years ta. Nti me ba no na kwen no yesi si si ade ma yen kama pa. Ifa na hanyi na ebush me ba. Pro na hanyi na ebush obia ni hanu. Hanyi na de. Ah hanyi na ebush na obia ni hanu. Yeah. Nti si ano it's opening up the area. Oh si si ade area no ya kama. Nti usu usu say by the time they will be done the kwen is good. More houses will come up developments be ba around ana. Da be da be na mi nim say. But who's to say? I mean, in your view, so move here. It has to be. Oh, it has to be. But I need two years. They will be had their own. In two years, you won't identify this place. That's exciting. Fatah, we made us. But this year, I know my mother is saying. Okada business, I heard saying. Okada, no, the oh, ne, this year, no, the petrol number. Four on air. Four on air, the papa. This year, no, we saw the over top petrol is fifty CD. One year. But yeah, you must stay in now for your last one. First of all, be on it. Now, what do you mean? I'm a teenager. What do you mean? Boys, boys. I'm a teenager. Rent, rent, rent. Yeah, back of it. So, how much do you pay? What do you ask? One point two a month. A month. A single room. A single room. Unko na odem. That we mean me here. Okay, umu ama. Me umu unko la back. Okay, that's interesting. Good, inti na. Si si ane den a juice si kapa. What takes your money most? Petrona. 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 It is a buying your baby for Petrona. I bet have an impact on you. Oh, yeah, yeah. Come on, man. You also saw on your day. So, on your mom to sue my name to me. So, say about three seed cry. So, we did a muscle. But that was the fear to be reduced to three cities because it's having a great impact on him. He lives in a single room in Nima with his wife and little child. He's a rider and he says that he's seen great uh, development in terms of the road. Fatal, thanks for talking to me. Have a really good day. He came to do delivery all the way from Nima over here. So then um, projects, development or construction of projects creates um, jobs for people who do delivery because then if you have to bring in some drugs or anything of that sort that needs a rider then you have a job if you look this way you can tell all this place has just been uh, graded and I'm seeing uh, some sheds right here and our ever industrious mothers they are here 
cooking and serving uh, the men and women in there who are putting the project together. So we're going to come here. We're going to have a conversation with some of them, find out how developments like this have impact on them. My name is Caleb, and you're watching us on About Town. Hello, good uh, good morning. I told them that I come to do it for me, and we just left. Oh, 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 oh. relax, 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 relax. Calm down. So wait, what are you doing right now? I be you know. I, I can see. Mm -hmm. So I shouldn't ask you. Mm -hmm. But at police more, let me help you. No, you are doing no, it. No, 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 I want to help let you. Let me do it myself. Like wow. ah, no. But I, I, I like the paposhito. How much is it these days? <laughs> they say it's two CD. Two yes, CD for how many? For, this one is two CD. Where did you buy it? At the junction there. Where did you join you? This is it far from here? Not far. It's not too far. Mm -hmm. Okay, so has the price of paposhito increased? Now it's increased. And you get the same quantity? No. What about the onions? Everything has increased. But this paposhito, if you plant behind your window, it will grow. It will grow, but not now. Yeah. You cannot you just put it just now and then it will grow for you. True. And you also need paposhito gidi to sell kinky. So I have to go and buy it. People are complaining that the kinky right now, it's too small and it's very expensive. What do you have Even to say? Even now, the maize is too high. Mm. So when you went to buy one bag of maize, it's now it's 700 Ghana cities. The maize now? The maize. 700. Maize. Previously it was how much? It was 450. 400. That's, that's almost 100%. From, for 450 to 700, almost like 80. Yeah. 800, then yeah. that would be 100%. Yeah. And that means that, the, so how do you survive? How do you manage to make money? Oh, we make it small, small. Mm. Mm. So, have you reduced the size of you? Yes, you we have reduced the, the size. Mm. We have reduced it. You reduce the size. Yes. One thing that surprises me, my friend, she sells both for ten. Mm. She sells it for one city. Mm. Don't worry. Now the size has gone down. Mm. But I'm amazed at how she gets the consistent, consistent size. All the size is still the same. Mm. It's, how, how do you do that? The kinky because. You know, the fact the way we do it, two mm. CD, uh, one CD fifty percent mm. and one CD. Yeah. Now the one CD fifty percent turn to two CD, mm. and then uh, one you CD have greater 50, than you one. Yeah, then one CD fifty percent to turn to three CD. Hey, say that again. <laughs> one CD turn to two CD, and then one CD fifty percent turn to three CD. Ah. One CD, ten, one CD, fifty pesos is now two CDs. Yeah. And one no, one CD, fifty pesos is now two CD. One CD, fifty pesos is now two CD. Yeah. And one yeah, and two CD is now, now is three CD. Why don't you move to two CD, fifty pesos? No, we cannot do it two CD, fifty pesos. Why? Why not? We cannot, because it should be possible. It cannot be possible. Why not? Because as for the kinky, you are going to collect the pepper money on side. Uh -huh the rubber, everything that you use, ah. you take all from it. So it's not just the kinky. It's not just the kinky. We don't pay for the pepper. You don't pay for the We don't pay for, for the, the rubber. Whole, yeah, we don't pay the for The rubber, you pepper. give us like three. Some will go fish, yes. pepper, and then black rubber, yes. and then blue rubber. Yes. Oh, man. So you take all from the kinky. And all of so that yeah. will end up in a gutter anyway. Yeah. I see. So times are tough, would you say? Would you say times are tough? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Do your customers complain when they buy your food? They are not complaining about it. Why? I mean, in terms of the cost, not the, the quality. They are not complaining about it because they know everything. They, they understand? Yeah. Okay. Because their wives go to market soon, they know. And as for them, cry, they buy things outside. So know that now everything is cost. So can you plan your budget for like a month? Yeah. You can? Yeah. Why do you say that? Because I have three kids. Mm -hmm. So I'll be paying school fees, feeding fees, things. So when I cross, I would take everything from the kinky. So the small one that I'll get then, I'll put it down for the kids. I see. Which level are they? The first one is SS3 at Cape Coast. Then you don't need to pay school fees? Yeah, we pay the, because then now they say no food, uh, food money. Uh, they are not making, they are not giving them food. Is it true? Yes, it's true. Is that what he told you? Yeah. So he's coming house food. today. He's coming home today? Yeah. Are they on vacation? No, they are not on a vacation. So why is he coming home? They said there was no food in the school. And but teachers too are not coming. But the strike, they have they have uh, called it awful. I don't... So, yeah. 
I don't, I'm not sure. They've called it off. They called it off yesterday because mm -hmm. government has given them 15% cola. Has agreed to pay them 15%. But the children are coming house. They are coming up. Mm -hmm. It means that when they are going back to you, you have to find money to sort them. Yeah. yeah. And, and give them provisions. Yeah, some. The reason why I ask you if you can budget for about a month is because people say when they go to the market today, tomorrow by the time they get back, the same price, yeah. maybe rice, it has gone up. Yeah. So they are not able to budget. So that's why I was asking if you're able to budget oh. for the month. You, you are managing it. Right? I mean, is the price of goods that you need for your kinky business consistent? Yeah. Are you sure? I'm very, very sure. Do you understand my question? I understand your question. So those who are saying that food prices keep going up, they are, they are not telling the truth. They are not telling the truth. Because are they lying? When, when you went are to they, are market... Are they lying that prices oh, of goods and stuff are see, going up? You see that the goods that they are brought, they are not from only here. Yeah. From different places okay. that they are bringing. So maybe somebody will bring these tomatoes and he said one CD. And mm -hmm. somebody will bring this, somebody will say two CD. Yeah, but how much is this? One CD. One CD. <laughs>
I didn't say Esther. Esther what? So you have three children. I have three. Two boys. One, one girl. girl. Oh, lovely. So what should what people are complaining a lot that Ghana they, is tough. They are coming. They are coming plenty. Wow. <laughs> no. So go and do something else. Let me finish quickly. Can you do it? Yeah. Oh, oh. I'm almost done. See, I'm almost done. Come and take a look. The people are coming in droves. Take they a look at them. Coming. So she wants to really um, hurry and then okay. Let's just say I just did a bit of what's cooking here. <laughs> With a touch of about, uh, this is about on CD TV. My name is Caleb Kudadem. There's a development of um, um, the sports complex over here, and it has created some seasonal jobs for uh, the women in the neighborhood. Um, Esther, for example, is selling kinky here. And you can see the men, they are in, in droves. They are coming to eat and, and go. Maybe I'll speak to some of them to find out how um, their personal economies have changed since the start of the project. Now, do us know why? Um, maybe. What's my idea? Oh, oh. Sure. I will. Well, who who to to makrela na se samo pa na de to swa my god na sent na gym oh man a very lovely oh man yeah I've done well Esther thank you come and oh come and come and take a look like I've I've tried I've tried aya yamabano na nya white 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 thank you Esther have a good one yeah okay cool bye bye Jaman Abi no, I can't. I can't talk to the workers. I, I don't know. I thought I could because they are to work. Well, it uh, looks like it wouldn't be allowed. So, so we are out from the bush. I mean, the the campsite where the sports complex is all going at Boteman. Okay, and then we saw very interesting scenes when we flew the drone. You see the uh, former horse race course over there it's a very beautiful scene and we understand that part is part of the university farms uh what we call university farms is uh, livestock and poultry research center lepric it's just not too far away from us now we are back in town okay so connecting from east legon through ajingano asalibotrescu junction is this road this is what you'll be using taking you to that sports complex and it goes all the way to the motorway by the way together it's been dualized so it's about uh, a 12 kilometer stretch now if you look at uh, what is going on that side has been dug they are filling it with boulders and then this and then that and then that before it's asphalted this looks like a very very interesting uh, kind of work very very amusing to see the work that is ongoing and also the speed at which it is going. So let me get here. Let me speak to some of the people who have lived here. Let's find out from them what they have witnessed with respect to this road and how it is changing uh, their lives. Hello, how are you doing? Hi. You're very happy. What's going on? Oh, we're just talking about something. It's... That's made you happy. Yes. Fine, my name is Caleb. What's yours? M Mirabel. Mirabel, how long have you lived in this neighborhood? Uh, for a few years now. Let me confess, I've, I've lived somewhere here very close to the university farms okay. and this road was terrible yes, it was. like when it rains it's bad it's, it's really bad but but really for bad. those who don't know this place can you give us an idea where this place is um this is um I would say East Legon Hills, that's what I normally This is Majo. East Legon Hills there, this, Santo Ode. Yeah, I normally say this is I beg, this is Majo. <laughs> it's not East Legon, Bia. It's not like Legon uh, Hills, Bia. Um, but that's is, Trasaco, right? Yes, this okay. is um, Trasaco. And those walls, they used to fall any time it rains. It does. That's correct? It, it falls often. Yeah. Not often, always. Well, but then, yes. Yeah. Um, the road was really bad because there was a lot of potholes yeah. just right here yeah. in front of the hospital. Where the red car is, right? The taxi. Okay, there's a the hospital. And then oh, the Medimosis. Yes, okay. and then just right after, there were like about four potholes. Yeah. Really Especially hard. after the Zoom Lion headquarters. Yes, the potholes actually start from there and end here. So how did that affect you those times? Um, it was it's when it rains, it's really terrible to walk here because you'd have to be jumping to avoid you messing up what you're wearing, your shoes, your clothes. If you're wearing white, it's really not um, okay to walk on mm. like it's just it's messy it's messy that was what, during the rainy season yes and then when it was dry when, when it's dry especially when it's closer to christmas mm. um the 
Dos is crazy. It's mad. Like it's it's all over the place. Do you drive? I don't drive. You ride. I walk. Oh, you walk. Good. Yes. So I mean, prior again to what you're seeing now, how was your commute like when the motorbike is? It's, riding it's, on the, it's really on the rough. Portal. It's really lo rough. Really, really rough. It's personally and like it's not. Like... It's not. I wouldn't even advise a pregnant woman to be on a bike when commuting wow. on this road. So you've been on bikes on the road while it was often, bad. How often. was the experience like? It's crazy. It's crazy. No, you use some terms to describe it. Yeah. <laughs> I, can't I just use wanted it. to tell you. It's crazy. She told me she gave the Okada rider um, free massage. Yes. Well, how do you do? <laughs> it's, 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 it's. I mean, things dangle, right? <laughs> <laughs> right? It's a natural something. I know, I know, I know. You can't help it. Yes. So, what's happening now? What's changing? And most importantly, how is it, you know, how's it, what's the impact it's having on the quality of your life? Uh, personally, I don't know for every, I can't speak for everybody else, yeah. but for me, Walking here, I always wanted to see change. I always wanted to see change because I see a lot of cars pass by, big cars, trucks, smaller cars, you know, cars that can't actually move properly. Because I've personally seen cars stop in the middle of the road inside the potholes and it, people would have to push it. But now coming home, it's, it's, much, it's much better. Mm. Like it's, for me, it's even quicker. Right. The journey Even in a is shorter. In which it is. Yes. Because I realize it's been dualized. Yes. And the contractors are doing so well. They fix one side and, and then, then they, they move to the, to the other. other side. How fast is it working? It's re it's really steady. It's, mm. it's a steady pace, and they're working really good because they work until late at night before they stop. So probably by eight, that's when they they stop. And it's been going on for the past two months because they started all the way from the top. School junction itself. Yes. And they're taking, I think they're taking it all the way to Ashaiman. I'm told it's going to link to the yeah, motorway. Ashaiman motorway, yeah, that's where it's going to end. So it means that your commute will be shorter. Yes. They call it and return on something. <laughs> and then I think the the buses mm -hmm. would actually the come. The Yes. Because then they used to park only at, at the Zoom, Zoom Lion. Lion. Yeah. So you walk all the way there and then so they take you to School Junction. Down like a yeah. university farm. Then yeah. they go on university farm, they actually have to walk. Oh. If they have a load with them, they would have to carry it all the way to some lion yeah, to get a car. Terrible. And it's really terrible. Yeah. Because, as I told you, all the way here, yes. the road is also very bad. Really and when terrible. it rains, that place... Can't and so it. I saw some... It's not advisable nursing to Nursing mothers with children. It's not advisable. It's Sometimes you see their kids in their school uniforms going yeah. to school. It's, it's just really it's terrible. terrible. But I'm seeing a lot of tracks in terms of safety and people are riding bicycles and trucks I mean bikes in terms of safety do you have any concerns I do I do I actually do have concerns because somebody could be walking and not everybody have good he yeah. hearing yeah. so like maybe so that tricycle riders should observe the signs these guys are they giving do. they all motorists in fact should. every motorist should observe right. every sign every um, person trying to control traffic okay. Yes, so like there's a free flow. When this is done eventually, how will it affect the quality of your life? I, I understand this road has been done because there's a stadium or a sports yes, complex so that's coming in. And I wish you all the best. So what would you say yeah, is so the this um, is how, um, uh, importance of, you know, walk through this side infrastructural development and, and its impact on the quality of life of people living here? It's going to be, aside from tourism, it's going to expand the, um, the development uh, and, it's, it's you know, the, uh, the community as a and large because Ghana is a growing country. It's not there yet. It's not there yet. Still right. ongoing. There are some and stairs here leading to some rooms. By the time maybe rooms. this um, stadium um, is going to be, of course, yeah. the stadium is the going to be completed. The doors are not completed. numbered, so you're not able to like, tell. It's got, a lot of, a lot is going to change. Right. Um, next, already I've seen a greatest job for some of the yes, guys and yes, women yes, selling. Yes, yes, yes. But it's, it's been interesting it's engaging the students and finding out what the reality is. Thank you. Structural development, right? I want you to tell me personally how, personally for you, what developments like this mean. Let's keep growing. Mirabelle.